Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I have a special tutorial for you. And this is of how to install Fortnite on your Mac. Now, of course, I have the MacBook Air M1 right here. But of course, this should also work with other devices as well, including any Mac, including a Mac desktop or a Mac laptop. All right, so I'm just going to show you the general procedure in order to download the um fortnite up to your device all right so the first thing you do is go ahead and get a browser so once you do guys you're going to go ahead and open the browser once you open up the browser as seen here guys you're going to go ahead and do a search you're going to type in as i have here you're going to type in epic games mac download you're going to search all right, and of course, it's going to say here, um, you're going to look for the link that says um, download the Epic Games launcher from Epic Games. All right, so you should see a screen as seen here. And of course, if you have been trying to download it, but you can't find the download link, um, I'm just going to walk you through the process. All right, so notice it gives you all the details here. It says download Mac download game launcher. So go ahead and hit download. And of course, it's going to give you the um, the directory in which it's going to download. It's telling you it's going to go to the default directory. Then what you want to open it. So I'm going to click save file. All right. It has now downloaded. I'm going to open. It shows that it has the Epic game file. All right, now of course you can see here, it shows the file. It says Epic Games Launcher. Drag the Epic Games Launcher icon to the Applications folder. All right, so we're gonna drag this over to the Applications folder. All right, so of course, it's now dragged over to the Applications folder. All right, but I've dragged it over to the Epic Games folder. We're gonna open the applications um, menu right here. So we're gonna open by clicking. It's alphabetical, so you should see Epic Games Launcher. So go ahead and um, click. All right, so as you can see, the Epic Games Launcher is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Now, of course, we did do that download from the official website which was epicgames.com. You can even double check, as you can see here, if we were to open up the browser, it does say epicgames.com and it's the official website there. So of course it's, it should be good. So I'm gonna close then I'm gonna eat op it open. All right. Now, of course, it's asking for a permission. It says Epic Games Launcher would like to access the files on your download folder. Don't allow or OK. OK. All right. Let's verify the updates. And of course, it's doing a download. In this case, it's downloading a 239 megabyte file. Um, depending on the speed of your Internet, this sh should vary. So I'm going to may pause this a bit come back when it's finished all right guys so we're in the final seconds here and of course there's verifying updates updates um are completing all right guys so once it's finished you'll see a number of um stuff here um one thing to watch out for guys is yeah. to if you do not see anything up here, go ahead and click the icon. The Epic Games should show up here. Or if you go into um, your apps, it should be in games or somewhere around here. If it's not appearing alphabetically with Epic Games, you can always um, move over and look if you see it or look under your games. As you can see here, it shows up under games for me. All right, so I'm gonna close out. And of course it says choose, sign into your Epic Game account. And of course, what are you using? Are you using an Epic Game, Nintendo, or so on? So I'm going to sign up with Epic Games. And I'm going to place in my details from here. All right, guys. So after I successfully um, 
reading our within the end user agreement after logging in simply go ahead and um, accept and of course it will show you choose installation location um, these are defaults auto update as well make sure auto update is kept on for convenience i'm gonna hit um, install and of course it is now done now as you can see here the epic launcher um it gives a lot of um, information here so i'm gonna close and of course now that you have the launcher it would mean that you have now access to all the games so you can go ahead and check out fortnite and of course there you go All right, so this is Fortnite. I'm simply gonna go ahead and hit um, Fortnite. And once you're here, guys, and you choose Fortnite, you'll notice it will start um, installing. So it should now install in Fortnite. So of course, this is the game. You can go ahead um, while it's installing. Mine is just at 1%. Simply allow it to run through its spaces. Um, you'll see the information here. You can show details. Um, there's stuff like add-ons. You don't have to do the add-ons. Um, simply install the main game. So, of course, as I said, the platform is doing the install of Fortnite, which is the full version. All right, guys. So, as you can see here, the Epic Games launcher is installing um, Fortnite. And, of course, it's doing its thing. I'm now at um, 3%. Sometimes the servers are a little bit slow. So you may have to um, leave this a bit. But of course, it should install and also it should work as this is the Mac version. All right. So I'm just going to leave the tutorial here or end the tutorial here, guys. Um, so I hope this was useful. So once the game is, so once the game is um, installed, what should that means that you should be able to um, play Fortnite. Um, you're already logged into your Epic account, so everything should be good from there. It's a simple matter of launching the game and then enjoy it on your device. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. As always, guys, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until um, next time. Bye, guys.